All right, everybody, welcome back to the Korean Keto Guide channel. And in today's episode, ultra, ultra, ultra excited because a few things you guys may have noticed. I am in a different background, in a different setting. You don't see the cape or the keto cape behind me, which I will get hanged up because I have moved. Yeah. So basically, I'm in a brand new apartment. That's the reason why I was not filming, why I did not film an episode last weekend. But I'm back. We did it. Labor Day weekend was a whole move, right? We freaking did it. And I'm now in my new apartment here. Um, I'll get a better setting in terms of the background. Probably not behind this door here, but <laughs> more importantly, guys, right? You guys are here for the awesome, awesome meal I have today for you all. So this one, since things are kind of still needing to be unpacked, I went ahead and ordered out. Something I don't do very common or very often. I do have... So... This is what it comes in. It's chirping chicken, right? It's, it's like this rotisserie chicken place uh, here in the city. And I figured this would be the perfect time to do a chirping chicken mukbang video for you all because right, I can't really cook at the moment. Things are needing to be unpacked. This is perfect. Still keto friendly, not too bad in price. And right, ultra hungry. It's 2.29 here in New York, so I'm ready to eat. So when you do order this, if you do order chirping chicken, chirping chicken, excuse me, it does come like this, right? So, right, comes with utensils. Um, okay, they, they double wrapped it, which is nice. Let's see here. I'm trying to also get a bit good angle for you all. Ooh, nice and tight. Oh, yeah. And this is exactly, this is exactly how it comes right here, look. Just like that. Um, now, of course, a couple things, right? Oh, and how can I forget? Look at this. I've got my Frank's red hot sauce. Oh man, it's the best part. Don't really need that. Now this, unfortunately, It's like peanut butter or whatnot. Can't do much with this, guys. You know, maybe save it for later for somebody else that's not on keto or, I don't know, homeless people in New York City, maybe if you're walking by, you can give it to them. Whatever the case is, this is the main event here. And this is what's keto friendly, right? This is what you guys can all eat very safely. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that beautiful, beautiful rotisserie chicken. Okay, this is from Chirping Chicken again. Um, super fast delivery at least from where i'm living like not even five ten minutes and they delivered this um but yeah one more look at that look at that got my franks of course right this is basically keto friendly as heck i would even say maybe conservatively one or two grams of net carbs but without further ado everybody Wow, I don't even need these. Wow, even without the hot sauce, it's really good, but it's like icing. This is like icing on the cake, so to speak. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, it's so good, guys. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Beautiful drum. Mmm.
<laughs> mm. Absolutely a winner in terms of the taste, everything. Now, look at this. I naturally gravitate to the dark meat because this is better, but with the Frank's hot sauce, man, it's like, I can't even explain how good this is. I took a big thing of hot sauce there. But it's so good. Okay, let's try the breast, the chicken breast, right? <clears throat> now look how thick that is. So juicy. Mm. Wow. Definitely still really good. Mm. Wow. As you guys know, usually I'm not a huge fan of the, of the breasts. <clears throat> I mean, of the of the white meat, right? Like the, the chicken breast, because it's kind of dry, but yeah, it's still really good. It's still juicy. Um, let's try a wing. Actually, what's this? It's like quite a wing here. Hmm.
Wow. The wings are good too. Wow. I'm gonna go for another thigh over here. Mmm. Mmm. The thigh is the best though. Mm. Oh yeah, this thigh is the best. <laughs> mm. Highly recommend this, guys. If you're in New York City, of course, chirping and chicken, do it like on Seamless or something, but... If you're not, honestly, just, I feel like any good rotisserie chicken place will have something similar like this. And in a pinch, wow. <clears throat> in a pinch, this certainly satisfies you. any kind of craving you have for chicken. Those, those, I mean, excuse me, dang, those thighs are so good. Going for the second wing here. So really, the chicken breast is only what's left here, right? The white meat. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm starving. So I may even eat some of this right now, but normally I like to save this and eat it for later, whether it's because I can turn it into like a chicken salad or I can turn it into something else, but I'm starving. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna eat one more piece here. Mm. <clears throat> this is really good. I mean, It's basically just a rotisserie chicken, but it's just so good. Like I, I guess it's been a long time since I've had rotisserie chicken. <clears throat> to be honest, maybe that's why. And when I say long, it's not like very long, but 
at least a couple, you know, a week or two, or longer than that maybe. <laughs> this whole move has gotten me scatterbrained, so I apologize for that. Hmm. Okay. I'm at that point where I'm feeling pretty good. <clears throat> but I'm pretty hungry. I may finish this. Let's keep going here. Hmm. Wow. I didn't work out today, but I did a huge workout yesterday, so maybe that's why my body is like <clears throat> extra hungry. Because normally I'd be full. Um, but I could easily keep going here. Hmm. Okay, definitely an effort not to overeat here, right? <clears throat> Especially because we're, I'm sure we're all trying to trim down here during the whole pandemic, right? Everyone's indoors. I definitely gained a few pounds, but I've been slowly shredding that down a bit. I've been working out a lot more, um, how can I put it, frequently. Uh -huh. So yeah, I have this one piece of breast right there. And you know what? I'm just gonna eat it. <laughs> I was gonna say save it for later, but you know what? I really am that hungry. <clears throat> I had a crazy workout yesterday, so. My body's craving the calories. Mm. Yeah, this is great. Oh my God, but I'm looking full. I will say that. I'm definitely getting full. I mean, I was already full, but. <laughs> Hmm. This should easily hold me over. Excuse me. This should, this should easily hold me over. Till dinner or... Till whenever I have my second meal, really.
So good. Move on. <clears throat> Basically, just finished the whole rotisserie chicken here. Um, man. <clears throat> It's very uncommon, I think, for me to do that, but... <clears throat> I don't necessarily encourage that either, right? Because if you guys are full, just stop, you know, especially in, in an effort to lose weight, being on keto. Don't overeat, you don't have to, but sometimes you're that hungry. And for me, this is one of those days. I was that hungry that I can finish the whole thing. Um, but yeah, guys, as always, thank you for tuning in, right? If you enjoyed the video please give it a big thumbs up click on that like button subscribe to the channel of course if you haven't done so already um highly recommend you know chirping chicken if you're in new york city and if not just you know any kind of local chicken barbecue joint because i think it'll, it'll be the same and it's so good keto friendly and yeah now that i moved in i won't skip another video guys so i'll see you all in the next episode next week same time take care everyone